Hello and welcome. As the WHO and colluding globalist criminals persist with hysterical fear-mongering about an escalating climate crisis, a body called the Conference of the Parties, COP, adds yet another parasitical bureaucracy into the mix. It's tasked to garner international collaboration and commitment to combat non-existent climate change. With cabal-appointed representatives from nearly every nation, COP inveigles itself into the thick of things by masquerading as a platform for open dialogue, negotiation, and formulating strategies to mitigate imaginary global warming. To understand the hidden peril, we must examine the inner workings of COP, its objectives, and the intricate dynamics that contrive its outcomes. COP is an annual event organised by the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the UNFCCC, that convenes representatives of unelected order-following bureaucrats from over 190 countries. This occurs in tandem with thousands of observers from intergovernmental and non-governmental, read fascist, organisations, businesses and the scientific community. Not a single one of these free-loading grifters represents the interests of the world's people, but exclusively serves the grasping dictates of globalism. Its primary objective is to assess progress in upholding public belief in the sky is falling climate change hoax, while sugarcoating agreements aiming to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and adapt to the fictional impacts of a fake climate emergency. Critical dealings at the CRP are negotiation of agreements which is slippery language to disguise dictating non-negotiable directions to the rest of the world. COP ostensibly provides a forum for nations to negotiate and adopt legally binding agreements, such as the Kyoto Protocol and the Paris Agreement. These despotic dictates are ratified by an unknown select minority who set arbitrary targets for economically crippling emissions reduction, establish mechanisms for financial and technological support for developing countries, that's money gouged from taxpayers, and outline frameworks for monitoring and reporting progress. In other words, it's yet another devious contrivance to hasten the implementation of agendas, Agenda 2030's rampant genocide. Captured countries often use COP to virtual signal their commitments to climate action through psychophantic pledges, obsequious initiatives and grovelling policy announcements. These ingratiating commitments range from setting ludicrous emissions reduction targets to investing in worthless renewable energy and sustainable development progress, uh, projects. Besides high-level negotiations, COP brags about hosting technical discussions, workshops and side events on various aspects of climate change, including adaption, mitigation, finance and technology transfer. Well, more weasel words designed to obfuscate the real purpose of COP and confuse the public. These Sessions, virtual signal, knowledge sharing, capacity building and collaboration among the viper's nest of its globalist stakeholders. COP is touted as providing robust participation from civil society organisations, youth groups, indigenous peoples and other stakeholders. In truth, these irredeemably woke groups aggressively advocate for over-ambitious climate action doing chicken little takes about fictitious climate impacts, while supposedly holding governments and corporations accountable. Well, what a joke. 
Despite its media manicured appearance, COP faces mounting challenges, including geopolitical tensions, differing national interests, and the influence of vested interests such as hydrocarbon fuel industries. Achieving a consensus among diverse stakeholders with competing priorities is problematic. However, COP disingenuously claims to present opportunities for innovation, collaboration and solidarity. Well, I don't doubt the rainbow mafia verbiage of uh, inclusivity, diversity, equality and transgenderism all slosh about in there somewhere. The hysterically braid urgency of the climate crisis has catalyzed unprecedented momentum for self-sabotaging climate action, prompting governments, businesses and individuals to step up efforts to needlessly reduce emissions, transition to unworkable renewable energy and build what's ludicrously labelled climate resilient societies. As the global community confronts the overhyped yet non-existent threat of anthropogenic climate change, COP sees itself as the as globalism's Waffen SS for coerced action and bullied cooperation. While its trolls bleat that the road ahead is fraught with challenges, they claim the spirit of solidarity and determination of COP inspires hope for a sustainable and equitable future for all, always with the sickeningly overused sustainable development mantra that's probably punctuated by a Hitler salute. They raucously bark that we can only address the climate crisis and safeguard the planet for generations to come through concerted efforts and unwavering commitment. Of course, this transparent hyperbole is nothing more than a satanic inversion of truth. COPs are just another self-aggrandizing bureaucracy, assisting the New World Order genocide. In tandem with several other globalist bodies, they've recently announced yet another global emergency to be managed under the aegis of a new group euphemistically entitled the Sum of the Future. As usual, there's no evidence confirming said emergency, but as we see time and again, such considerations are immaterial to criminally insane socio-psychopaths. Just as with COVID, they don't need any real emergency since corrupt government and media will whip up a fear-mongered panic storm by once again inventing one, making the target population putty in their hands. Tiresome, isn't it? Thank you for watching.